Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I, in this tutorial shows how to create a custom or single player maps. First go file in you or you can click here also. Here the first selection it means a single map or custom map. Both of them are the same. And this is the multiplayer map. I'm gonna choose the first one. And you can change the pixels or the map size. And load the KB file. It's already located in the library. You can load whatever you want. You choose hazard. Okay. This is the map. And before you, before uh, you're gonna start to build, there's some tips important to know about every single mission. Go to M. M it means the mission setting. First selection is the setting. As you can see, as you can see now. I will explain some things over here. 90 minutes it means the part time. The part time bar time it means when the enemy give give you some seconds to prepare yourself if you want to build or prepare your unit units and and uh, in the summary it means you when you are ready. We're gonna change this to for example, 200 seconds because 90 seconds is small, and I, I have no idea the idea what exactly is this. This is I think when you win, the win should be the first selection is when all the enemy units died, okay, and lose if you want to lose. All you need, you need you is gonna be died. This is the money. This one, the first one is your money, and the second for only one if you have a teammate. And the third selection is the enemy money. I'm not gonna change anything here. You can change the money, and here is the max dish. Every building builds. Have a max dish from zero to five. I will put the maximum dish. This is if you uh, sorry, second selection. If you want to create your team over here, but I have no idea. Still, I have no idea about how to change the team because I have some trouble and I'm such a beginner. So I tried many times to change the team, but the team cannot be changed. Here are the colors. If you want, this is the team one, team two, to team eight. I have seriously no idea about how to change the teams for now. Maybe I will put it in the another tutorial. In the third selection. If you want to display some buildings, you can look for the um, the English version if you want to know what every these question marks are meaning. And we click OK. Okay, now we have we will start building. This is a win small window, then you can also change the zoom, I'll change to 75%. Here you can add some objects, Okay, when you finish making your 
land go creatures you are now the team blue it means the survivor so make sure you pro you post your units for example the basic piece and uh, and some units and your enemy gonna be the evolved here's the, yeah here are the evolved teams and this is this arrow it means the starting point for you you can change it if you want to change your okay this is the evolved team it means uh, your enemy when you finish editing the enemy units make sure you go and select the CPU mark if you did not did this step the you cannot import no sorry you cannot export the mission I will put the CPU access point here and if you this if you want to make the enemy changing the place every time just hold shift and click you can also change the place the mark one, uh, x1 and x2 x3 it means when the uh, cpu summon enemies they gonna appear here and they come here and here and this is the point for this building okay now go file export I'm gonna export in the custom click yes close you can save if you want to change save your work go to levels custom you can copy or cut I'm gonna cut them if you want to leave the backup, go to the rules, custom, and make sure you place them in the custom file, and start the game and boot them up. Thanks for for watching, and if you have any ideas or suggestions, please post a comment.